forward. You're gonna extend your left arm forward, fingertips pointing toward the sky. Then you're gonna externally rotate the arms, so the fingertips point as far down as you can. And this will probably show you how tight your forearm is. Now with your opposite hand, you're gonna reach up and grab around the base of the knuckles here, right where the fingers meet the hand, and pull the fingers down a little bit more as you extend through the wrist. And your arm is about parallel to the floor here. Now breathe, especially if you feel some tightness here. You're not forcing the hand back. You wanna make sure that you're, you're being gentle with yourself here. It's easy to overstrain these muscles. Don't want to do that. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It's another one of those exercises that can sometimes be uncomfortable <laughs> when we're practicing it, but when we come out, it's great. Good, now carefully release that arm down for a moment. So we're gonna copy that and do it on the other side. So taking your right hand directly forward, fingertips up to start, and then you're gonna externally rotate the arms, roll it outwards, fingertips starting to point down toward the ground. Then the opposite hand comes up and holds, again, right around the base of the fingers and pull the hand downward here, only taking it as far as your arm and hand want to go today. The arm is about parallel to the floor. And you're breathing. So just noticing sensation, especially as we do the second side. So if you're right-handed, this side actually might feel a bit tighter to you because we use the right arm more. If you're left-handed, the worst is over, maybe. <laughs> Just breathe with it, whatever your experience is. Just a couple more breaths here. I really do this literally all the time. I'll be sitting there, I'll notice my arms getting tired and I'll just do this for a little bit. And then go ahead and release that arm down, feel sensation once again.